Hey there, this is Jeff Reeves. I'm the editor of InvestorPlace.com. I'm talking again with John Devine, one of our assistant editors here. Hey, John. Hey, Jeff. How are you doing? Uh, good. So let's talk Facebook. Um, I like Facebook. I mean, I don't actually like the product. I'm not on, I'm not on Facebook because I don't want any ex-girlfriends to stalk me. But yeah. uh, so I like the stock. Problem <laughs> oh, zing. <laughs> uh, you like Facebook the stock. I like Facebook the stock. Uh, tell me why. What's, what, what's your bullish case for this company? Okay, so uh, actually, I'm going to start with Instagram, um, which Facebook owns, and they bought in 2012 for a billion dollars. Sounds like a pretty tidy sum, but um, you know, in three years, they've uh, increased their user base by 10x. So now they're at 300 million. They were at 27 million, um, and they're just starting to monetize that by uh, opening up to advertisers a little bit more. Um, they're also doing a lot with Facebook Video. You know, they're taking on YouTube famously. Uh, they're, they're up to 4 billion streams a day, allegedly, of uh, YouTube, or excuse me, Facebook videos. So um, they're opening that up and um, to advertisers, and, you know, I think it's it's going to be good for them in the long term. Yeah, it's, it's funny that you, met, you mentioned Google in there. I mean, Google bought YouTube for about a billion dollars, I think, in 2005. And at the time, there wasn't any real money being made, but, you know, it's all about figuring out where things are going to go. And Instagram certainly kind of has that momentum behind it. You kind of feel like Facebook is doing the Google thing where they're, they're seeing the future of advertising with these products? Yeah, well, um, I, I think that they've, they've got a huge user base of a, you know, a billion plus people. And um, like you said earlier, when we were talking about uh, what they can offer advertisers is they can get very specific and segmented and they have a lot of information that, you know, we just volunteer up. You know, such as all your ex-girlfriends. Um, <laughs> you know, but, nobody reads the terms of service. We just click the box. Exactly. So <laughs> um, they can get pretty targeted and, um, I mean, nobody else can do it like them. So, um, But also, I uh, just want to touch on one more bullish uh, point, and that's uh, Oculus, which is their virtual reality platform. I don't think it's going to be, you know, a short-term mover for them, but uh, over the long term, you know, Zuck is getting pretty... Uh, pretty ambitious. Uh, he's talking about doing things like doctors, consultations, uh, you know, over virtual reality. Yeah. Creepy, creepy. Yeah, a little creepy. Uh, <laughs> courtside seats to NBA games, you know, uh, you know, even taking courses uh, virtually. So, uh, but in, in, in the short term, it's just going to be basically being on Xbox. So, yeah. Uh, anything else we should look for before we wrap up here? What else has Facebook got going on? Well, I've got a buy button and... Uh, well, they're testing it at least. So I think that could be a big you know, catalyst in the future. Well, there you go. A lot of reasons to like Facebook. Uh, stock is doing well. Uh, many of uh, you use it regularly, even if you're not afraid of ex-girlfriends like me. Thanks for talking, John. Thank you.